it is just absolute game changer, especially if you're a bow hunter. This was specifically designed for the bow hunter in mind. What's going on everyone? It's Chris B here. I have been whitetail hunting pretty much ever since I have been able to walk into the woods, hunting with my dad for the very first time, shooting my first deer with a bow when I was 10. And ever since then, I've been bow hunting religiously all fall. So we've had a lot of experience in the woods and luckily being able to work with Sika gear and trying out a bunch of different gear and the evolution of that gear over the past several years has been really, really awesome. And with that, there's a lot of complexities to it. You know, you add all this, all this gear and all this high tech stuff and it's like, well, what's good for me? You know, I'm in the South, I'm in the Midwest, I'm in Iowa and I'm in PA. Like, what do I need? If I only have a couple pieces, what would it be? If I want to get the whole system, what would it be? So we're going to kind of run through that today and we're kind of kind of very you know this is the about the temperature here this is about the temperature here early mid late season and just kind of run through it what we're going to start with is like when it is september let's say you got an early season hunt let's say you're in missouri or like a north dakota or something and it's it's hot you know you don't you don't really want to be wearing anything um Sika's new equinox guard line is really really awesome for those really early season hunts and not only is it super lightweight but it also has a lot of insect um, benefits to it. So it has a new weave uh, material in there that's like super, super tight and it's actually hard for bugs to bite through. On top of that, there's actually an insect shield. Um, it's actually permethrin that they wash into it and it, I think it rated for like 200 washes, I think. Something, something outrageous. So a lot of good stuff for mosquitoes, ticks. Um, you know, if you're down south, this is, this is definitely a no-brainer um, to me and paired with that is the new Equinox Guard pant. Same sort of thing, super lightweight, has all insect repellent, everything. Um, and then on the inside, they actually have these little gator guards. So you can tuck these in your socks. It really helps with ticks and everything. Um, so really awesome. No brainer, if you're hunting in 80 degree, 90 degree, even 70 degree weather, you have to have this. Um, you know, going into, let's say September, or maybe even October one, you can start to really kind of mix match with this. Um, so next up on my list, what I'll always have in my bin is the Fanatic hoodie. The Fanatic hoodie is kind of your workhorse machine. You could, you could wear this um, as soon as temperatures start getting like 60 degrees all the way through to the end of the season as more of a base layer. Um, but it has obviously your, your tried and true sick of gear face mask hoodie system. You can zip it up. Um, just a good mid-weight hoodie. They also have these really awesome mittens. So it's like if you don't really want to wear gloves because maybe during the day it's hot, but right at the last 30 minutes of light, it starts to get a little cold. You can whip out these mittens um, and then do the deal. You also have a little kangaroo pouch in here. So really awesome piece, really versatile. I mean, I wear this piece all the time from early on. Um, you know, I'll, maybe I'll even wear this in the stand and then like the last hour of light, I'll throw this on and be good to go. Okay, so next, uh, let's say it's starting to get into October now and temperatures are, you know, maybe at night it's 50 degrees and just a little bit colder. I, I will switch to maybe more of an Equinox pant. So this isn't Equinox Guard, it's just Equinox pant. It's a little bit more durable, a little thicker, um, and I'll start putting base layers underneath this. So I'll kind of mix up like a lightweight or a heavyweight, either merino or synthetic, um, if, it's, if it starts to get a little cold, like a October cold snap or whatever. Um, and then this is really when to our new ambient really comes into play. So this ambient is probably the most versatile piece in this entire setup. Very similar to the Fanatic hoodie. It's, it's literally from start to finish, I will be wearing this. It's uh, really good for when you're hiking in, getting into the tree stand and you don't really sweat a lot because it has active insulation. Um, and it's just honestly just an absolute workhorse as an outer piece, as a like insulation piece. Um, so when we're starting to get into those October cold fronts, this is a heavy hitter. Um, and then we'll start mixing in mix it in with our Stratus system. So as we get into later October, um, if you're in the Midwest or you know dipping down into those 40s, maybe even it's like 30 degrees in the morning and then warms up. So we have our Stratus vest. Um, this is really, really versatile, great um, piece. You pack in your backpack, get up in the stand. Um, and then when you cool off from walking in, then you put this on just kind of as an insulation piece. Um, on top of that, we have the Stratus pant. So there's Stratus pant and the Stratus bib. I'm personally a bib guy, so as we get into those October cold fronts, later October, I'll switch to the Stratus bibs, and then I'll kind of fluctuate my heat with what top I'm wearing, because on the Stratus bibs, you have zips all the way down, so you can really ventilate your heat, um, regulate your body temperature, um, but the pant is also really, really great. I use this quite a bit when those temperatures start getting a little bit colder. 
Now we're getting in November, everyone's perfect time. And this is where honestly, it's a no brainer. And really as it gets colder, my system really gets simpler. You know, when you have those in between temperatures, you know, windy conditions, still conditions, 35, 45 degrees, you can really mix and match a lot of things. And that's why I think it's really important that you have a few heavy hitters, you know, like a Stratus vest, your ambient hoodie, stuff that you can really layer with um, and kind of be flexible with. And honestly, what I like to do too is maybe in the ambient jacket, I'll get it in a solid color. And then I can kind of maybe have one Western hunt planned for the year. I can wear it out West, but then I'll also wear it for whitetail and then I'll wear it for some everyday stuff. So finding pieces that kind of fit into your system and you can kind of be super versatile with it is super, super important. But now we're in November, it's cold, it's windy. You're in, you know, the Midwest, let's say. The Fanatic system, absolute no brainer. It is just absolute game changer, especially if you're a bow hunter. This was specifically designed for the bow hunter in mind. Um, so we obviously have our super quiet fleece on the outside and then our body mapping. So there's tons of body mapping on this for the archer in mind and it's lefty and righty version. So if you're shooting with a right-handed bow, shooting with a left-handed bow, um, the body mapping helps with that. So we have string clearance here. We have um, elbow mapping right here because when you go to draw back, you can pinch your elbow. There's a lot of material right there. So they kept that in mind because obviously as you get warmer in pieces, it's going to be just more material. So they really kept that in mind. We have tons of pocket, tons of storage. We have magnetic pockets here. And we got kangaroo pouch, which is extremely warm for your hands when it gets really cold. Put a couple hand warmers in there and you will be good to go. We have our diagonal zip here, which is huge for one when shooting your bow. And then we have this magnetic snap that snaps into place and gets out of your way of your string. So no brainer. When it gets in at 30 degrees, I will never be caught not wearing this. Paired with that, your Fanatic bibs. So we have Fanatic bibs here. Check this out. Bam. Fanatic bibs. Also really, really versatile. And honestly, I will probably wear this a little bit sooner than the jacket because I will start wearing this and then regulate my heat with what top I'm wearing. So I'll honestly maybe even walk out to the stand with these bibs on and then run like a Fanatic hoodie. And then once I'm in the stand, I'll layer heavier on top. But they have the side zip, so you regulate heat super well. Um, you also have a ton of pockets, ton of cargo pockets. And also we have the body mapping again. So you don't want to be super burly and like a Michelin man while walking into the stand. So that Sika obviously recognized that. And we have body mapping down low. It's a little thinner around your boots, really easy for walking. Um, so that's kind of my full system. And you know, it's a lot of mix and matching and you kind of refine things. But I think it's really important that you have those foundational pieces that you're really confident with and you can kind of you know use them throughout the season kind of mix and match um, some additional pieces that that we don't have with us is a fanatic pack fanatic pack i will use all season long um, it's great for quietness i mean that's what the whole fanatic series is good for but it's also packability it can shrink down really nice it has very non-form fitting and especially if i'm i film a lot of my hunts if i'm personally not filming and i have like a camera guy with me or something and i can really slim down what I'm bringing out to the field, Fanatic Pack is huge. On top of that, gloves. So I'll run the Fanatic gloves pretty much all season long, even into late season. Um, and then maybe as we get into late season, I'll bring a, some heavier gloves that as I'm packing down my stuff or whatever, I'll swap into those or, you know, ride on a bike in um, early in the morning or late at night when it's really cold, you can just kind of swap those out and keep them in your backpack. But yeah, guys, very technical stuff here. And it's so important. I mean, I think whitetail hunting is, is so underrated at how important your gear is because you sit out in weather so much. I mean, sometimes you sit 12 hour days, days in a row. And the most important thing to stay mentally in it is, is by having the correct gear to keep you warm, keep you dry and uh, for wind protection. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is kind of my whitetail system, what I like. And I hope you guys learned something from it.